Wouldn't it be great if you could turn invisible? I mean, think of all the banks you could rob. But invisibility isn't possible. Or is it? Imagine nothing, and then something, that something, a chameleon, everybody's favourite, multicoloured lizard that everyone knows is the ultimate camouflage. But it isn't. Chameleons change colour based on emotion, not camouflage. For example, when a chameleon gets excited, it'll become a more vivid red colour. Chameleons also change colour to alter their body temperature. This works because darker colours absorb more light and so get hotter. Speaking of light, let's talk about how chameleons change colour. Chameleons change colour because wavelengths work in a very special way. Different wavelengths of light mean different colours. And so, chameleons have these very, very special cells with tiny crystals in them. And depending on the distance between the crystals, depends on the colour of the cell. That might seem a bit scientific, but basically, different distances between crystals means different colours. Chameleons might seem a bit irrelevant, to life every day. But what if I could tell you they're not? Chameleons have literally inspired tons of epic things. For example, right now they are developing color changing threads inspired by chameleon cells and how squids like alter their colors, but that's different. And this special thread could revolutionize fashion, military camouflage, and to be honest, how we dress every day. Chameleons are really, really cool, and they're inspiring tons of really, really interesting things. Chameleons could alter the future, or chameleons could just remain really cool animals. No matter what your opinion is, I think we can all agree chameleons are pretty epic. Excellent, well done, well done. We're going over to our judges now. And uh, Jo, did you have a question? Yes, well done, Jonah. You obviously enjoy talking about this subject, describing chameleons as pretty epic. Um, what made you choose a subject? And, and do you have a chameleon of your own? I don't have a chameleon of my own. Um, I think it's not very legal to keep a chameleon, because <laughs> obviously they need rainforests, things like that. Um, I was really interested in chameleons, though, because I was thinking about camouflage. Actually, in year seven, I did a speech on like the Incredibles and how that might work like in real life. And I was thinking about invisibility there. I didn't really include too much on it, but I came back to it when I was in Fame Lab, and I thought that would be a really cool speech. And, yeah. Brilliant, well done. Thanks, Joe. Oh, we're going to get another question, I think. Just a, just a, a quick one, yeah. So, uh, as you say, chameleons are pretty epic. Um, they don't just do colour changing; they do plenty of other cool things as well. Did you come across any of those things um, when you were reading around about this? Yeah, so they actually have a language based on the colour of their skin. We, I, I don't think humans can understand it fully, and researchers have tried to understand it, but they haven't really got there yet. But chameleons are very good at communicating, and different patterns mean different things, so it isn't just red, green and blue, it's just tons of different complex things. Um, hopefully we'll understand that one day. Thank you. Thank you. And that's you. You can go back off that way. Nice <laughs>